Number eight, an equation of a line with a y-intercept of negative two and a slope of one-half is blank. Notice that all of these are in standard form. In, U in UIL tests, they like to give uh, a lot of their linear equation problems in either in standard form or in some different form besides anything besides y equals mx plus b because everyone's familiar with y equals mx plus b and not that many people are familiar with uh, how to deal with standard form. I think the easiest way to approach this problem is to write it out in slope-intercept form and then just manipulate it from there. So let's go ahead and do that. Since it's y equals mx plus b, this is going to be y equals the slope is one-half x uh, and then the y-intercept negative two. So in slope-intercept form, we have y equals one-half x minus two. In standard form, we need the x term to the other side. Let's go ahead and move that. So minus one-half x to both sides of the equation. So we end up with negative one-half x plus y equals negative two. Linear equations in standard form ax plus by equals c normally we'll have uh, no fraction with the x and we'll have, uh, we'll have the x be positive. So if we multiply this entire equation by negative 2, if you multiply all this stuff by negative 2, that would cancel out this negative 1 half and you would be left with a, a positive x term. And that's one of those things, it, it, it's difficult to think about doing that on your own. Uh, but if you look at the answer choices, well, none of them match this. So we have to kind of mess around with this equation. We can do that. We can multiply uh, by negative two, which is what we're trying to do here, as long as we do everything from one side, as long as we do it to the other side as well. Uh, we can, that's perfectly fine. We get an equivalent, an equivalent equation, if that makes any sense, if that's not being redundant. So anyway, negative two times negative a half x is going to leave you with x. Negative 2 times uh, positive y is going to be minus 2y equals negative 2 times negative 2 will give you positive 4. x minus 2y equals 4. The answer is b. Number 9. Angle A and angle B are complementary angles. Angle B and angle C are supplementary angles. If the measurement of angle C is 112 degrees, what is the measurement of angle A? Uh, let's color code all this information and jot it all down. So A and B are complementary. So just, just for simplicity, instead of having to write measurement of angle, I'm just going to use letters A and B to represent uh, the angles in degrees. So that information Complementary angles mean they have to sum to 90 degrees. A plus B is 90. Okay, we're also given the information that angle B and C are supplementary. Uh, supplementary means they sum to 180. So we have B plus C equals 180. We're given one last piece of information. The measurement of angle C is 112. And this is good because now we have a value, C equals 112. Whenever we have a value given to us, we can simply substitute that into this equation, solve all the rest kind of backwards. So we have C is 112, so we have B plus 112 has to equal 180. So 180 minus 112 will give you angle B. We get 68. Let's start jotting all this down. The measurement of angle C is 112. The measurement of angle B is 68. Now that we know that value, B is 68, we can substitute that in here. So A plus 68 equals 90. Let's so subtract 68 from both sides. The measurement of angle A must be 90 minus 68 which is 22 degrees, and that is the value that we were looking for, is E. Number 10, find the slope of the line perpendicular to the line drawn in the graph below. We're given a graph and we're given two points. We can simply do this whole rise over run thing to find the slope of this, uh, the slope of this line is actually up one, two, three. So that's a vertical change of three, or the rise is three. 
and it has a horizontal change, one, two, three, four units. So, because it's going upwards, it's rising three for every four x's. The slope of that line is three fourths, positive three fourths, since it's going upwards. A perpendicular slope. This is something to always keep in mind since perpendicular lines uh, pop up a lot in the UIL test. Perpendicular lines, the, the deal with them is that their slopes have to be opposite reciprocals. This means that we flip the fraction, that's reciprocal, and then we flip the sign and make it the opposite. So the slope of the perpendicular line to this, uh, the slope of the line perpendicular to this is negative 4 over 3. As a mixed number, that's negative 1 and 1 third, so A.